let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel as you guys can probably tell from the title, today we are doing another day in the life. I have a couple of these up on my channel already, but they're all pretty dated and you guys keep asking for another one, so I shall give you another one. This one is Quarantine Edition. Our mornings always start with Sophie coming into the room, usually around 8 to like 9.30 in the morning. Today it was a little bit on the later side. So she'll come in our room, we'll snuggle, then we'll get out of bed, get ready for the day. One of the first things we do when we wake up in the morning is brush her hair and just get it out of her face because she's not a fan of having her hair down. As you guys can probably tell from most of my videos, her hair is just always up because she's not a fan of when her hair is in her face. The night before, right before Sophie went to bed, we put some water beads in some water so she could play with them in the morning. She was so excited to see how much they grew overnight. When we first put them in the water, they were so tiny and they grew like triple the size. Once I get Sophie all settled, usually I'll start on breakfast. Pretty much every morning though, she likes to help with her smoothie and then after her smoothie's made, she'll go off and do her own thing, play with her toys and just kind of relax until breakfast is ready. After Sophie was done helping out with her smoothie, she decided she wanted to go play with the water beads. If you guys were interested in these water beads, I got them from Amazon and I'll link them down below. As you can see though, they get really messy. Sophie loves to make a mess with these things and she does it purposefully, I swear. But she enjoys helping me clean them up. We kind of make a game out of it, so it's all fine. This morning for breakfast, Sophie had some eggs, a cheese string, some berries, and an applesauce. Usually for breakfast, we will eat it at the kitchen table, but today she wanted to eat it in the living room, so I said, why not? So we just sat here and talked for a good while while we waited for Daddy to wake up. He had a super long night last night, so we let him sleep in. This is her favorite thing to do with raspberries. <laughs> She puts them on her fingers and eats them. How adorable. Right after we are done eating, we head to the bathroom to go brush our teeth, Sophie's very favorite thing to do. We download this game that goes with her toothbrush. It's pretty much just a little Minnie Mouse cheering her on to brush her teeth, and then at the end of the two minutes, she gets a little sticker, and she gets so excited to find out which sticker she gets. I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down 
Now that Sophie is all cleaned up from breakfast, usually Xavier will take Sophie and just play with her for a little while so I can brush my teeth, wash my face, and do some things that I need to do for myself. If you guys were interested in the little skincare brush I have here, it is literally the best thing that has ever happened to my skin. They gave me a discount code to give you guys 70% off, so if you use the code SHANNA at checkout or click the link in the description, you guys will get 70% off this brush, which is absolutely huge. It is now around 1 o'clock, which is when we start getting Sophie all calmed down and ready for her nap. Naps are kind of a hit or miss with her nowadays. Sometimes she'll take a nap, sometimes she'll relax in bed for a little bit, and sometimes she just wants to play. Even if the sky's falling down. Now that she is down for her nap, it is my time to get my work done. Usually I'll edit a video during this time or clean the house or get ready. Luckily today Xavier kept the house pretty clean, so I didn't need to do any of that, but I did get ready and edit a video. Today was one of the days where Sophie actually did nap. She took a really short nap though, it was probably like 45 minutes, but my mom had messaged me and asked if we wanted to go sledding anyway. So we got her up, we got all ready, look at her smooth transition right there. <laughs> Now that she is all dressed and ready to go, we walked over to the kitchen to grab a little snack. These things, you guys, are so good. I highly recommend them. They're such a good light snack for like in between meals or when you're like hungry but don't know what to eat or like you're hungry but not like that hungry. Like I said earlier, my mom had messaged me and asked if we wanted to go sledding. So after we ate our little snack, my mom had messaged me and said that she was 10 minutes away. So I got Sophie all ready, got her little booties on. And her adorable little hat, you guys. This is my favorite hat to put her in. Just look at her little squishy face. Oh my gosh. If you guys know Sophie, you know she's pretty shy and to herself, but when we got to the hill she saw these two little girls and she was so excited to see them. I wish I recorded earlier. She was like talking to them and waving at them and she was so sad when they had to leave. But yeah, here's a little speed through of me getting Sophie's winter gear on. Getting winter gear on babies is quite challenging sometimes, especially when you have to do it outside. I of course did not want to put her in the car seat with her ski pants, her jacket, and her boots on, so we did it outside, but it honestly wasn't too bad. She was really good.
We definitely don't go sledding every day, but we do try and get at least an hour of outdoors times. So today, this is what we did. We normally will go on a walk before she goes to bed, but she had so much fun going sledding today. I didn't get too much footage because it was freezing outside. I was so scared on this sled ride down, but Sophie was having a blast. As soon as we got home, I ran Sophie a nice warm bath so she could warm up her little toes. She picked out her bubbles. Tonight she picked some frozen ones. Good choice, Sophie. After I got her out of the bath, I handed her off to daddy so he could get her all ready and then I went straight to the kitchen to start making some dinner. I was really craving shrimp tonight so I decided to make some shrimp scampi and then I also made a salad. Now don't get me wrong, there are definitely some nights where I just make some dino nuggets and mac and cheese, but one of my goals for 2021 was to start cooking more, stop eating out so much, and just expand my recipe book, I guess. If you are looking for a really good salad, this salad is my absolute favorite. I usually get it from Costco, but you can get it from pretty much any grocery store. Sophie loved the noodles, but she was not a fan of the salad, as I suspected. She never really liked salad, so I honestly didn't even really expect her to eat it. I just ended up eating her salad for her. And then after we were done eating, we snuggled on the couch and watched a little movie. We watched The Good Dinosaur. If you guys haven't watched that movie, highly recommend it. Once the good dinosaur was over, we went over to the bathroom, got her all washed up, brushed her teeth, and got her all ready for bed. I think I just want to feel like home But these days I just feel long gone And I don't know how to make it right I've been trying to fake it I have said I can take it But I think you should let me go Cause I need some time and that is pretty much it for our day. Right now, I'm just reading to Sophie, getting her all nice and calm for bedtime. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and sticking around to the end. If you guys made it this far in the video, comment a book emoji down below and I will try my hardest to comment one back. I just want to quickly remind you guys that this is definitely not what every day looks like. Every day it looks so different. We have different things going on. Sometimes we have to go grocery shopping. Sometimes we lay in bed and watch Netflix all day. Every day is so different. Yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys. I've been trying to fake it. I have said I can take it. But I think you should let me go Cause I need some time, time Cause it has been too long since I got any sleep Yeah, it's been a while oh, Since I've gotten some time just for me Yeah, I need some time